Hello, welcome to Literary Life and welcome to my March unboxing of my Literati book subscription. As always, for new viewers, I will have a link below to Literati if you're interested in checking them out. And I'll just have a link below to the book in case you want to purchase it. Um, Literati has a countless number. I mean, when I first joined up, it was like five people and we're up to like maybe 15. Um, but they're called luminaries, people that are well known in their respective fields. It could be sports, business, acting, poetry, um, all over the map. And that makes it great fun because each of their book clubs has a very different theme. And you can select each month, month which one you want to participate in. For $25, you'll be able to download the app or go on your computer join in the book club discussion for the month and get your book. Then you can now add on as many of the other books as you want for $12 each. So that's great fun. Some of you are going to be very disappointed though. This is my last month with Literati. I, I, I'm doing some major cuts just because I am literally, you guys, buried in my office in books and I need to get them read. Um, so I'm putting a pause on most of my book subscriptions and this is one of them and then I will resume as soon as I can get fairly caught up or just have the itch. <laughs> An uncontrollable itch. I always have the itch or it just gets so bad. All right. So let's take a look. This one, you just get your book. You're not going to get any bookish goodies, which quite frankly, I love the book bookish goodies in the beginning when subscriptions first were in my radar and I started signing up. But after a while, I was like, I'm okay now. Let's just um, slow down because I'm getting stuff all over the place. This was a book when I saw. It's part of the Roxanne Gay book. Um, she's that luminary part of her book club. I already had this one on my radar. Her book club's called Audacious. And so I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. Um, so we get a little note from her on the book. So let's talk about that. She says, we are entering the third year of the pandemic. I can't even believe I'm saying that. It's so crazy. Okay, and I'm sure everyone out here, we're all saying the same thing, which is the most surreal sense to write. <laughs> um, I'm always interested in the ways that fiction writers engage with the world we live in as it evolves. How do we grapple not only with the pandemics, but the startling and increasingly dire effects of climate change or unchecked capitalism and the persistent encroachment of corporations into our daily lives? Whoa, right there. Yeah, let's talk about this. Okay. Um, what does it mean to live in a perpetual state of anxiety and or mourning? I feel like she just summarized what people are grappling with heavily you know, over these past few years, right, right there. Um, I'm going to mispronounce the author's name. I think it's Sequoia Nagamatsu's How We Go in the Dark, How High We Go in the Dark, offers bold answers to these questions and so much more. How High We Go in the Dark is ambitious and intricately plotted. It's a beautiful meditation on the way everything in this world, no, in this universe, is intimately connected. At the outset, scientists and researchers are trying to determine whether newly uncovered organisms pose a threat to the human race. From there, a global plague unfolds across years, then decades, then centuries. Nagamatsu's imagination is ferocious, and each of the novel's turns are unexpected and intriguing. The writing is beautiful, immersive, and at times hypnotic. It asks both the big and small questions about what will become of us, and even when the answers are complex, there remains a bright beacon of hope. Yeah, I this book, I forget how it came on my radar. I, I tend to read, like, um, New York Times, um, you know, they'll do those best books of 2022, and I do look at those, so it may have been through one of those. But this one was absolutely just, I was so intrigued by that concept, so... I know several of you now are fellow subscribers, and now that there's like 15 books, I don't, I'm guessing that's the number, but it's a lot. Let me know below which ones you picked, and if you've read this book already or it's on your radar, let me know. Um, I, I just, I, I'm almost afraid to pick it up, yet I'm like desperate to pick it up because I want to be, like have some sense of what we're experiencing, but have it hopefully end in a good way. Um, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, hit that subscribe button and join us if you are a book lover or just want to hear and talk about books. And other than that, 
Now it's time. Let's go read some books. Happy reading.